Wrocław in Poland. Which looks like Wrocław, but we Googled it and I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, Wrocław. Hope we're saying it correctly. If you're Polish and we're saying it wrong, we apologize. Leave us a comment on how to actually say it. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna go get some food this morning and then we're off to a walking tour this afternoon. If you watch our vlogs, that's kind of what we do in every new city, especially if we don't have much time. Traditional food and walking tour is what we're all about. And look at these cute buildings over there. And a beautiful church. But it's food time, isn't it? Yeah, it's food. <laughs> we had some breakfast, but that was a while ago. So yeah. we're gonna find some traditional little pastry. Are they like pizza zabi kung zappy kanka, I think they're called. Put the name up and show you what we have there. get a takeaway and come eat it outside even though it's freezing but at least we can be a bit noisy and talk about it while we film. <laughs> this is quite quiet in there wasn't it? Yeah yeah. Would have been a bit awkward if we're sitting there reviewing the food. <laughs> So we got Zappi Kanka or Zappi Kanki. I've sp seen it spelt two ways. But they're these kind of open faced toasted sandwiches on like a baguette. You can get them in two sizes. I went with a half size. Um, and from what I've been reading, the traditional way to have it is with mushroom and cheese. So I went with that one. Myron doesn't like mushroom cheese, so he went with a different one. I'm so excited to try this. I'm now wishing I went with a, a big one, but. I think this will be enough. That is so good. I love mushrooms and cheese. Oh my, and it's hot and it's so cold outside. So the mushrooms are like, oh, I can't even describe it. It's so cheesy and good. And the bread is really toasted underneath, but then you can taste it. The bread is still really fresh and soft. It looks like nice toasted cheese on top. I think bacon, cheese, a dill sauce. The bread's nice and soft, which is really nice. Yeah, but like toasted underneath, yeah, but yeah, soft on the top. Steve, but soft as well, which is really good. It's really, really good. The dill sauce is quite strong, but the bacon is as well, so that's a good combination together. It's good. We also got this cola. Um, is made here, is it? Sure. Made in Poland, I'm presuming. It looks really good, yeah. It is, that's so cool. So all up, for my half one, Myron's full one, and the cola, it costs 24 Polish money. <laughs> What's the Polish money called? I can't remember what it's called. 24, um, which was a pretty good price, we thought. Huddling like a penguin. <laughs> Huddling like a penguin too. Huddles. Keep warm. We were just walking past and saw all these donuts. And we both looked at each other and were like, yeah, we need donuts. There's lots of too. Well, which one's which? The nuts one is the Nutella one. I guess that makes sense. It'll be like hazelnuts or something. They are huge. They're awesome. For three. three I think it's like Zloti. Zloti. We'll, ha we'll have to Google it so we actually say they're right. Yeah, mine looks kind of the same. Myron doesn't know what flavour he got. No. Why? Ola. Oh, it's a long way. <laughs> zero. <-lada. laughs> it's a C and a Z next to each other. It looks good though, right? Yeah, it looks very good. There's all these gnomes around the city in Vratswav. So we're hoping on our walking tour we learn more about them. 
pretty cute. It's a Christmas market. This little gnome is made of ropes and this little gnome down here can put cakes and pastries and lift nuts on. The birds are trying to get the little boy's ice cream. So I'm going to try this donut. I'm pretty excited. It looks amazing. It's kind of like a triangle shape. It's huge. <laughs> It took a while to get to Nutella, but I got there in the end. It was kind of nice that it's only right in the middle because then it's not too sweet because it's already sweet enough. But it's so good. This is like probably the best donut I've ever had in my life, I think. Yeah, I'm calling it best donut of my life. So Myron's about to try his donut and he doesn't know what's inside because it wasn't in English. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see what it is. There's something in the middle. Have Not to risky. keep eating and see. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> White chocolate. That's oh, yum! White chocolate. It's very nice. Oh, it yum! Is nice and fluffy, yeah. It's like yeah. straight out of the oven. What you always hope that a donut's done would be like. But then they're always kind of stale. Quite, <laughs> up to your expectations. It's very good. So far we're only a couple of items into eating Polish food and we love it so far. So good. Dwarfs commemorate the Orange Alternative, which was a Polish anti-communist movement in the 1980s. The city installed the first dwarf in 2001 and has since installed around 80 more. Now there are around 400 around the city as private companies have also installed some of their own. morning it comes around to turn them off. It's pretty cool that they still do that. This one's got some luggage because he's outside a hotel. <laughs> Sorry for him, but it was really, it was so magical, it was so cool to watch. Food 
some pork and rice. And Hannah got some, was it tomato? Tomato soup. Soup and rice in it as well. I'm looking a bit worse for wear. You might be able to hear my voice. I'm starting to get sick, so that's a bit annoying. So we kind of just hopped in the first place we saw and I got soup, which I'm excited about. And it's really cheap. This came to 26.30. So I have tomato soup and rice. Myron has pork stew and rice. And then we have an orange juice and a Coca-Cola. It's for 26.30. It's Lotus. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, excited to dig in. This looks so good. I'm so looking forward to trying it. It's got quite a lot of meat in it as well, which is awesome. Mm. That is really good meat. It's been stewing there for quite a while, so I think that it's all nice and soft. Flavours all completely spread throughout the meat. It's very nice. It's quite tomato y, but with a lot of few vegetables as well. It's very nice. video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.